I'm making a horseshoe hanger today and I'm doing it with special guests, two of my favourite people, Benny and Daryl, and they're in town for my birthday. Welcome to my crafting channel, I'm Alana from Upcycling NZ. I've pre-painted all of the horseshoes in an exterior black paint. And now I'm just going to start with some soft wire. I love this stuff, it doesn't wreck your hands when you're working with it. And it's so pliable and easy to work with. Occasionally I'm using the pliers to just press those closer together and get them where I want them to be. I had lost my long nose pliers, so these ones were a gift from Daryl. Thank you, Daryl. I want to use some twine in this, so I'm taking some 30 centimetre lengths and I'm going to halve that and make as many of those as I can fit between those two stretches of wire. While I'm showing you how I attach those to the horseshoe, Benny and Daryl are going to tell you a little bit about their trip. Well, we've been on holiday around our beautiful country. We've been to the South Island. And what a beautiful country it is. We've watched some beautiful sunsets, sunrises, and some beautiful, and a beautiful full moon. And pick a well. That's up by a few wells, but. Get a bit of an update on Beanie and Daryl's creations. Actually, I've only put my fishing line on. Good things take time, you know. It's as we stand. With mine, I'm taking two adjacent ends of that twine and tying them off. Let's see what Beanie and Daryl think of this so far. This is such fun. It is great for us. <laughs> All of the beads and adornments we're using today have come from broken jewellery that I have a stash of. Beanie's also using some natural shell. I'm threading some beads on and I'm gluing some of them to the very ends. And I'm just folding the twine over on the glue. I'm making those lengths slightly different so that they hang nicely in the end. I want mine to have a turquoise look to it so I've used some turquoise beads and I'm gluing those on as a base. Those are my beads finished and we'll get another update from Beanie and Daryl. Lovely, huh? <laughs> That's far. Nice. Beautiful. And I'm adding some tiny blue beads to mine. I'm just going to hot glue those on. There we go. I've just put some wires. And I've added some more wire to at the top and I've run it through the holes in the horseshoe to create a loop. That's amazing. Wow, that's cool. I'm taking more twine in 40 centimetre lengths and I'm doubling that over about four times. I'm finding the halfway point and then I'm going to run some twisted twine along that area so that when I fold it over, it will create a loop. I'll glue that down. What will we do tomorrow? On your 54th birthday. If it's raining tomorrow, we've just got a party and possibly go fishing the next day. Yeah. Well, the next day's not as good. So 
So I've wound those threads together to create that loop and I'm just tying that off and gluing it down. I've then just plaited the cords and I'm going to tie that to the top of the loop. This is a leather flower in a beautiful turquoise colour that my mother had. I think it broke off some jewellery. I'm just going to hot glue the ends of that twine underneath and I've just threaded the back of that through that loop at the top. Thanks mum, that's fitting nice and securely on there now. Another update please. Beautiful. Oh nice aren't they? It does look gorgeous. Unfortunately I lost the footage of Daryl's last update, so I'm just finishing up with some beads. And she's going to fill up shelves and power. Cool. Beautiful beads. Thank you for having me. Okay, done. Done, give me a look. It's beautiful. <laughs>